Boss making me work Christmas so she doesn't have to. Update. I will be home for Christmas. I still feel some guilt because that's the type of person I am. I don't like letting anyone down even at my own expense. I did offer to cover New Year's as I can't stay awake past 930 so I don't celebrate. So, originally my boss told me she didn't want me here on Christmas. Because I have young kids at home. She told me several times that I do not have to come in. Well the supervisor who was supposed to work Christmas is refusing to. And my manager doesn't want to come in so now she's saying I have to. Now look. If they were desperate for someone I would have obliged. But the simple fact one. She reiterated several times I wasn't coming in too. She wants me to come so she doesn't have to. I'm livid. I made plans with my children for the whole day and now it's cut short. All because my manager doesn't feel like coming. Don't go in. Since you said I have Christmas off I made commitments that can't be cancelled now. If you're quitting anyway then don't you dare show up there for Christmas or you're just as bad as the boss is by enabling their toxic behavior. Enjoy the time off with your family and Merry Christmas to you. GIF No, is a complete sentence. What job are you doing that's so important that you need to be open on Christmas? Unless you're emergency services of some kind or an organization running a vital homeless shelter. Or something. Why the hell is your boss insisting on anyone going in at Christmas? The reality is that for most of us the work we do just isn't that important that it can't wait a few days if you're on holiday. Or if you're unwell. Let's face it. None of your suppliers will be open. And most of your customers are going to be at home with their families. Which is where you should be. And if you're quitting in Jan anyway. Why do you care? Your kids are growing up. You only get a limited number of Christmases with them before they'll have left home and have. Families of their own. Don't waste them working for a boss that you don't care about. And who sure as hell doesn't care about you. You can do exactly the same as the supervisor that is refusing to come in, refuse to. The company doesn't do incentives? Shame. Let them know you accept envelopes of cash. You don't need an explanation of where the cash came from or who filled the envelope. There are a lot of different names for it but give your no way price. Simply don't be available without that amount. Using this method is great because it quantifies your disinterest it's not that you're unwilling to work. You're unwilling to work for less than $10,000 cash in hand before beginning the day that is not your responsibility. Normally the backlash is about longevity but you're quitting anyways. Nope, nope, nope. You told me I had it off, made plans, won't be in. Are you a nurse? Wait staff? Retail store checkout? Nuclear scientist? I think that matters a tad. But we're like family here. Woozy face unamused. You have to stop worrying about confrontation or this walking all over you and your family scenario. Will always be the result. You go in and point blank tell them, you told me you didn't want me working Christmas due to having family. Since you reiterated that, I made plans that cannot be cancelled. I will be taking Christmas off as you wanted me to. If they come back with the classic, it wasn't in writing. Or any other gaslighting BS. Which they will. You then give them your notice of last day on the 23rd and tell them, I put this in writing then. The boss isn't making you work it. You're agreeing to work it. If you work this shift, you're agreeing to prioritize a company that you're already quitting in a month over your family and children. Your kids will not forget that you put work that you're planning to leave ahead of them. Don't do it dude. I understand confrontation is hard. But your kids are worth having a backbone. Tell your boss you've made plans because she already gave you the day off. 
and you won't be changing that. Just don't go, don't say anything. Don't go. Call their bluff they can do the x miss shift or they can be a person down on headcount and have to do the x miss shift. You made plans. This is a management problem. Inform in writing that you have made plans and cannot accommodate this request ignore the noise and stand your ground. Tell her sure double your hourly rate and you'll come in. Aren't religious holidays protected anyway? Do you need to prove you are a devout Christian to do so? I know many other people from various other religions that got their holy days off. I don't think they ever needed proof of anything either. Wouldn't it be illegal to reprimand someone for not coming in on their religious holiday? BTW I'm not claiming op is or isn't Christian. And I know Christmas isn't only celebrated by them either. But it is a religious holiday based on Christianity. So I'm saying, if they claimed they were, shouldn't they be given the day off without question? This is of course assuming they haven't already confirmed another religion as their belief or no religion to their employer. I always love how people will rant and post to this sub. But in reality already said yes to what they are complaining about. Seeing you are quitting in January just makes this whole rant even more perplexing. Nope. Sorry. I've already made plans. No take backsies. Just refuse. Tell her it's for religious reasons. And if she's discriminating against you in your adulation of Mephistopheles. Work won't remember all the time you spent working, but your kids will. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.